right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, we got a little quick video for y'all today, man. It's not going to be anything that's going to be like a long video or nothing like that man it's not gonna be that it's gonna be a little quick video we're talking about a certain a few things we're gonna hit a few key points talking about the 2k community and we're just doing all of that good stuff man and we're going to just bring you a nice concise video that i think you guys are gonna enjoy so if you don't do nothing else man make sure y'all like the video because anytime you like the video it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100k and without further ado let's just get the video underway Wait a minute, man. This ain't 2K22. This 2K19. Bro, look at how slow that jump shot was. It looked like he was levitating. Look at the... Look at the... People actually missing shots. Get that shot out. Bro, let me show y'all something, man. I know that nostalgia is always better. Look at how slow I'm moving. Even though I am out here trying to size up the court and just do some stuff or whatever, bro. This is painfully slow. Y'all can't tell me that this ain't painfully slow bro this is painfully slow i mean it looks like everybody on the court is moving in slow motion now i know that nostalgia is always the thing and nostalgia is always something that that but bro look it looks like he, this dude is tur people are literally out here turboing and it looks like we're walking and they and we try to act like this game right here was better than what we got right now now i know the movement and the speed game speed and stuff ain't always the best look at guards blocking centers and stuff i mean maybe the gameplay mechanics i don't know bro i i, I all i'm telling you is this was nba 2k 19. was this 19 or was this 20. this was nba 2k let me see which one this one oh my god look how slow i ambled to the rim for the, the bro this is so slow this was two this was 2k 19 because this is uh 2018 october 2000 do you see how slow the game is like I'm just and this is on PlayStation. Uh, this is on this is my PS4 Pro, bro. Like we out here, look how sl you you understand what I'm saying? I should have kicked that to the corner. But then the point it was raising with Randall. He probably wasn't gonna knock it down anyway and stuff like that. The whole point that I'm trying to make from that is, man, I know that nostalgia reigns supreme. But bro, come on, man. Let's let's stop acting like the other games was so much better than what we got right now. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like these games that we got right now are better. It's just, it just is what it is. Yes, we have to deal. Look how fast T's moving compared to that. And one of the main things people used to always talk, oh my God, the dribbling in 19, the this and that, the speed of the game. And not, bro, y'all just lying. They, it's, it's, it's just, they're just lying for lying's sake. Everything in the 2K community is always better looking backwards. I don't understand why, but it just is what it is. Now, when you go back and look at 2K16 and 17, yeah, you was bop, 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 bop. You was getting it on those games, but on that, nah, that ain't one right there. They love to say 19, you know, 20. I like 20. 20 was really good. I liked it. I like 21. I actually liked all of them, but I'm just saying, like, in comparison, look at how T's moving compared to how we were moving out there, bro. Like, even it didn't matter who had the ball. It looked like we were moving in slow motion. So it is what it is, which brings us to our first tweet in Anonymous 2K TV, man. My boy says, hey, he's talking to uh, Hezo Trey. Uh, six, oh, well, I guess he's quoting Hezo Trey. Six, five and above guards got a skill gap. Anything below that is not, is uh, there's no skill gap. They are all cheesy moves uh, with mismatch expert. And then, uh, you know, that's what Anonymous says. And now, uh, you know, here we go clapping. Let me understand y'all something, bro. That dang on mismatch expert is ridiculous. Like, it's like it just completely nullifies a part of the game where you have to take a good shot. I mean, it's like, okay, we play the game. Paul steps up. I'm 6'5". If you try to shoot the ball in my face, it's, it's not going to go in. But as soon as somebody is 6'6 or better, Paul 6'6 or Brute step up and he's 6'6, it just is 20%, 30%. Uh, all that is excellent. They just going in because of a badge called mismatch expert that allows you to take bad shots. Now I know a lot of people are gonna try to say, nah, man, it's it's it's, it's sniper. No, it's not sniper because these shots are green, and we've already proven to y'all in the brutal sim video that sniper is not the, the is not the issue. The issue is the uh the shot the shot boost. If you put on shot boost on your character, do, try it today. Y'all go out there. I, I said it in a tweet a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days ago or whatever. Jay Easy said it in a tweet. It was one of the most goaded tweets. Uh, I don't know who needs to hear this. And let me let me go find. I'm gonna go on Twitter real quick and find the tweet that I put out and 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 let y'all know what I was thinking on that day. Cause a lot of people, uh, a lot of people 
is bugging. So this is before anybody made any videos. It was right here when Jay Easy said on December 23rd, I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's not Sniper. It's the jump shot boost that makes the whites go in. Since then, Brutal Sim investigated Brute in the building has put out an awesome video. Uh, All City put out an awesome video. Everybody's put out some videos. It's, yeah, they confirmed it. Yeah, you shooting the same percentage, if not better, with just a jump shot boost instead of sniper. And I don't know how anybody can't notice that because when we when you first got the game and you didn't have sniper, but you had to jump shot, because everybody gonna put the jump shot boost on from the jump, right? When you first got it and you didn't have sniper, but you had the jump shot boost, then it's like, okay, you were hitting your shots, right? Everybody was hitting day one. You still couldn't leave anybody open day one because everybody had the jump shot boost. But then you turn, uh, everybody made their rebirth and everybody had sniper from the beginning. And so I guess that's why we figured, you know, you know it's gotta be sniper. But hey, awesome tweet by Jay Easy. Awesome dude, man, awesome content creator. Uh, you should go check him out. Up next, you got your boy Laker fan. Hey, Laker fan saying, you know, uh, this is uh, King Von, uh, you know, King, not King Von, uh, King Young OG Von saying, hey, you know what I'm saying, we in the Laker fan video. But the Laker fan video, the topic of the video is something that I'm more interested in, is how good is running three locks on 3v3 uh, next gen NBA 2K22. Let me tell you something, man. Me, Brute, Gambit, and all them, we did that on Saturday just because Brute wanted to come out with his guy. No ball handler, three locks, switching everything, playing awesome defense. Nobody was even close in any of these games. You got three Hall of Fame interceptors out there. You got three guys with high steel. You got three guys that can switch everything and guard all three positions. It makes it really hard for the other people. Now, nobody was able to put us in a position where we had, where, you know, they could have they put us in some spots where they forced us to use our ball handler and it would have been trouble. But for the most part, with the average person that you're gonna play against, bro, it's not gonna be hard, man. And that's, you know, it's just not gonna be hard because I'm, it, one reason it's not gonna be hard is because you got awesome defense. Another reason it's, gonna, it's not gonna be hard is because the 2K community in general, they don't play defense. They don't care about defense. They don't know how to play the game. They don't care to know how to play the game, period. Most people don't know how to play offense. They don't know how to slow it down, speed it up. Most people in the 2K community, I'm just gonna be 100% be, be with y'all with this. Most people in the 2K community are content creators themselves. They're trying to get their content out there. They just, they're trying to get you to see what, what they doing and stuff. And so, for the most part, people really don't learn the game. They just go on YouTube and try to find the easiest cheese to make themselves appear to be good. And then, then that's what you get right here, you know, so they can spam one move over and over and get points and win games, make themselves appear to be good. And then they think that that's gonna be like a minimal grind that they can put in. And then, you know, I'm just gonna blow up on YouTube and stuff like that without really knowing the game when the, rea the cruel reality of the situation is with 2K, it takes so much more than that, man. You gotta be decent at the game. You ain't gotta be good at the game. Cause most of the people, most of the top content creators, I'm just gonna keep it, I'm just keep it uh, 5,000 with y'all, man. Most of the top content creators, they're not good at the game. Most of them, they just, they're just not good. Especially on a level to where, you know, the average person looks and says, you know, they're, they're, they're good or, or anybody other than the average person looks and say they're good. Like they weigh, most, most people in the community, People that don't even stream, like Breezy, Nino, all them, bro, them dudes way better than me. T Mizzle, y'all don't even really watch him for some reason. Way better than me. And y'all definitely should be watching T Mizzle because T Miz, man, he got this new bill out there, man. Look, bro, the dude got the new bill, man. Oh, I got the wrong screen. Up there. He's got this new bill. Go check the video out in the, it's the superhero guard bill, one of the best bills in the game. This is the one that you're seeing right here that he's playing defense with and he's getting all these buckets because he made a guy that can play defense, get buckets and do all types of stuff, man. But like, I think that's what a lot of people look at 2K is like, it's just a get rich quick scream or whatever like that with Twitch and all of that. You know you can come to 2K, you're gonna get to, you're gonna get a 2K audience faster than just about any other audience. I'm gonna get on and then I'm just gonna say how real, how much of a real I am and how much I'm from the street and all this stuff and then I'm just gonna blow up my bro. And, and, then, and then it's a double-edged sword or a, a bulletproof plan because if you don't blow up, you just blame everybody and say people don't respect real like, bro, come on, man. It takes so much more than that. Most of the guys that group that blow up in the 2K community, they don't even use anything. They, they don't even, they, 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 they don't even act like they don't read. Nah, nah, I'm the realest, I'm the realest. Man, y'all just don't respect real There's that, Like, bro, stop this stuff, man. You gotta come with some personality. You gotta come with something else and just be 
a player and it's something that somebody gonna gravitate toward yes you're gonna have a, a small amount of people that's gonna gravitate toward that but for the most part you're gonna have to evolve beyond that and you got to realize that the biggest thing that you can do to promote yourself is to keep being in people's faces you got to be on stream all the time like me i got a very limited being able to blow capacity because i'm i i, I work i work a whole bunch of hours every week I, uh, I run my own business, two or two or three businesses that are really successful. Plus, I got my regular job. Plus, I got everything. Else. So those things all work together to where my, my capacity to blow, you know, it's going to be pretty limited. But at the same time, I'm aware of that. So I don't go blaming nobody else. I don't say I'm not here because y'all don't do this. I'm not where I want to be or where I expect to be because I'm not doing the things that I'm supposed to do. But once I get there and I start doing those things, like if I was doing everything balls to the wall, look at Anonymous. Anonymous is on 24 hours a day. He's blowing because he's on 24 hours a day. He got people looking at him. He got the eyes on him. He getting the sponsorships. All of that stuff is happening because of how much he's on, how much he's dedicated. He done cleaned up his act and stuff like that. He don't even say nothing. Like, bro, the dude is a, is, is a phenomenal streamer, the streamer, great personality, all of that. Once you get that stuff and you tie it together, you're going to be good, man. But look, though, um, it, it, it is what it is. I don't talk too much about that, man. But that's that's the issue with the 2K community. We just think, they, people just think it's a, a quick avenue to, it's the game that takes the least skill because you don't have to aim and shoot at nobody. You don't have to do too much thinking like League of Legends. You don't have, it's the game that requires the, the least skill. I'm not going to lie. Out of all the games I play, 2K is the game that requires the least skill. So people come over to 2K because it's the game that requires the least skill and it's got the best, the, the highest outlook, I guess. For whatever, but I ain't, I ain't gonna talk too much about that because I love the community, but the community just need to get real with themselves and realize that most people don't know how to play basketball. Most people don't care about basketball. They just want to play 2K. But at some point, and then like when you run into somebody that's better than you and you losing, you just blame 2K. Like it's, it's great. It's like the perfect bulletproof box to be in being in the 2K community. Just blame 2K, say the game bad, and then everybody's gonna agree with you. That's why they nerf an interceptor when people just need to stop throwing bad passes. It is what it is. Maybe they need to tone it down a little bit, man. I don't know, that ain't what we here to talk about today. But what I do wanna say is, man, farewell to one of the best coaches and uh, definitely one of the best broadcasters of all time, John Madden. He got up out of here yesterday, 85. I know he had a good life, all that good stuff, man. I don't know what, you know, what happened or any of that. I mean, he just, he 85, man. He just, you know, he, he he's up out of here, man. It is what it is, man. Y'all give me one. What? Who? Boy, it is hot in this room. <coughs> Dang, man. Who? I don't know what it is, man. Let me turn my fan on in here, man. Also, I want to give a big shout out to the boy LeBron James, because they say LeBron out there carrying like this, man. Dang, boy. I mean, they say LeBron is out there carrying like this. I'm making the whole thing go. Also, you see up here what they talking about. Bro, this right here is one of the craziest sequences I've ever seen. LeBron comes down. <clears throat> no look pass. Trey's up. Break down. Get the board. Gets the board. Another no look pass. Smoke some. Get that shot out of here. <laughs> Another no look pass. Trey ball. Brick town. Like. What else can the boy LeBron do? And he the first one back on defense and trying to get the stop, bro. Like, it, it just is what it is. Now, that was a little bit of Olay defense right there, but you know, hey, it's just where we at right now. I don't know what else LeBron can do, man. Um, <clears throat> it just is what it is. And last but not least, y'all stay safe out there, man, because they said this is what this is what we got right here. I got the seasonal allergies, but this right here, they said they got the original, <laughs> look at it, original Rona right there you got the omicron i've been calling it ultron you got the delta seasonal flu sinuses is what i got and allergies that's what i got because <clears throat> i gotta go change my air conditioner filter or whatever like that but man that thing whew, i ain't got it's just crazy right now y'all be safe out there man because it is so much stuff going on and it's just like people people is getting up out of here man and we don't want that for none of us man we want to extend this thing that we call life as long as we possibly can since we able-bodied and healthy and happy man listen if y'all don't do nothing else man make sure y'all like the video man just because it helps me out man helps us get to that also oh covenant 100k and like i said if you're putting in the grind and you're putting in the effort Look, one thing I always say, you can't put in half-time effort and expect full-time results. 
that's one thing that I always say. Like that's why I'm not where I'm supposed to be right now. I don't. I I I haven't put in the full time effort. But there's a reason that I haven't put in the full time effort. Now you got some people out there that ain't got no reason to not be putting in that full time effort. And then they they mad that they not getting the results. If you ain't got no reason to not put in that effort. Then, hey, put that effort in and you're going to see the fruits of it, man. Like I keep telling y'all, man, Cash Nasty uploaded every day for three years, getting less than a thousand views, less than 3,000 views before he even started seeing traction that he was going to blow. Duke Dennis was uploading all that time, doing everything from army vlogs to a jump shot video every day. Ticino streaming with his girlfriend, the old girlfriend, not the new Angel Melly, none of that. He's streaming with his girlfriend and all this stuff, bro. Like these people put in the work and the time and the effort and just all that grinding, grinding, grinding. And that's why would you expect that you should have to do anything less, man? That's just all I have to say about that. But it's easier to get on a platform and complain and do that stuff, man. But to be honest with you, there's, there's nothing else that you can do except be on station. Just like I told Anonymous, who me and Anonymous was talking about, it ain't gonna move itself, man. The work ain't gonna move itself. So you might as well get out there and get it, man. But anyway. That's all I got to say, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Now we at 16 minutes. Sorry about that, man. But hey, I had this put on for my boy T. Y'all see him out there hooping, man, with the superhero bill. Uh, Y'all go check that video out. See how to make that. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Guys, baby.